Hello there, I'm Dylan here with a Dell Optiplex 380DT desktop tower. Here's a video showcase of it. So we have a recognizable Optiplex chassis. The black pieces are plastic, while the side panels, these are metal. That does not mean it has a plastic frame. The frame chassis is still very much metal, but there's like a plastic outing. We got four rubber feet on the side which enables you to put this on the side. And we got the Dell logo molded into the side panel. At the top we have a place for your Kensington lock as well as a padlock to prevent opening the up the in accessing the internal. The product key which there is like a little uh, rivet uh, not rivet like there's a little molding to like for the alignment of the sticker which is peeling up now we have the service tag and express service code here and then we got the Optiplex 380 here we have like the place for your memory card reader floppy drive your 5 and quarter inch bay with a populated by optical drive this Dell logo does rotate uh, rotates 90 degrees one way but it has this way so that when you put it on the side it, it can still read Dell you have your you have your power button microphone headphones dual usb port then down up, up here you have a bunch of uh, activity lights which you can't see now behind this uh, mesh is actually where the uh, fan is where for the cooling of the cpu down down here you got a windows 7 and quarter duo sticker on the other side of the tower Again with the service tag, MAC address and manufacturing date, August 2011. Then you have the Dell embossed logo. Then at the back here, you got your power supply. You got your I.O. which unfortunately it does not have an I.O. shield, it's kind of built in. Um, so it's got your microphone and headphone. 6 USB 2.0, Gigabit Ethernet, it's got your VGA serial and printer port, no PS2 port unfortunately, and you got three uh, half height expansion bays. So you got your switch between 230 and uh, 230 volts, and depending on where you live. And opening up the side panel, basically pull up on this thing, and the side panel will come down. It's quite heavy, all metal. And then we have a look at the internals. Starting off with the power supply. This is a 235 watt unit. L shaped with the wiring coming out on the side. You got your 24 pin here. And then your 4 pin is up there. And if you check out this layout, this is like BTX ish. It's like DTX, but it's a proprietary motherboard standard. You got the two SATA ports for the optical drive and hard drive, which sits underneath the optical drive. We'll show that later. The SATA ports on the motherboard are right there, right beside the 24 pin, and also around this area, very congested area, is where the front panel connectors plug in. There's this one long ribbon cable that comes here, it also hides the 4 pin CPU connector. This is the fan uh, fan header for the CPU cooler fan which sits there. This is the heatsink. As you can see, this is a relatively lower end Optiplex. There's a lot of like solder uh, places for you to solder additional components to which has not been populated. And there's like the speaker buzzer there, the CMOS battery. You got PCI Express, PCI, and this odd looking PCI, which I'm actually un uneducated on what it is. We got another SATA port just randomly there, and it looks like um, there's a fan header there that you can solder something to. This is the sensor for whether the side panel has been opened or not. You have two RAM channels, they're both DDR3, so that's pretty good. And yeah, you got quite a number of if okay, let's remove the optical drive. And to do so, you just need to pull up on this lever and uh, push this power uh, this thing back. 
and then you can like tilt it like do a 180 degree somersault and then rest it on power supply and then you can see here very easily that there are like spaces for additional capacitors which have not been populated you got a floppy connector so you can easily attach a floppy drive into this case but there is no floppy IDE for example there's no IDE in this computer but here here is where your hard drive sits tooless caddy to remove the hard drive in this computer you just need to uh, pull uh, push these two and then you can then uh, so there's this one and that one to push it together then you can push this thing back slide this back and then you can then lift this up it is kind of difficult to lift it up yeah so and uh, on top of the power supply, on top of the hard drive, sorry, is where you put in like your floppy drive or memory expansion slot. And then on top of that, you have this. Um, it's a very tight case to work in. But interestingly, despite being half height, Dell did allow you to put in full height graphics cards into this system. And the way they'll do it is with this. So you can actually just pull this whole thing out. There's no locking mechanism to lock it into place. And you can place this piece here with uh, an optional accessory where the full high graphics card would sit this way and yeah there'll be a PCI riser and whatnot of course and you can watch a green hand gaming video on uh, on this because I think he had a Dell Plex like 745 with a Core 2 Duo Core 2 Quad Q6600 and he showcased that accessory that allowed you to put full high graphics card in a uh, desktop tower optiplex case of this generation I think very cool and uh, for this light in place And uh, for the half high graphics, you just need to uh, push this lever here. So I pull it, pull it up, and then you can then just you know remove the expansion cover slots very easily. So yeah, this case is very well engineered. No space wasted, and um, no space wasted. I do like the idea how the CPU heatsink has. Uh, has fresh air straight from the outside of the chassis so it keeps the core to do a processor nice and cool not that it really runs hot at all um, then it allows for full high expansion cards what I'm not a big fan of is the power supply it's really proprietary and uh, you you know you can put a full size graphics card but good luck powering it I don't even know whether this PCI slot will give the full uh, 75 watts that a graphics card in it tells you it can support uh, PCI 6 Four, eight, four, and one x speed so that's good yeah and even though it's a very tight chassis with very little wasted space uh, it is a very easy chassis to work in and yeah the finishing of this is quite unique and just to remove the shroud it's just two screws on either side which is pretty good uh, so yeah that's it so yeah that's gonna be that we do have a jumper here I forgot to mention that at the bottom there's four more rubber feet and there's this sticker here with the various certifications and regulatory and patent information and some of it has faded away and here we have a service type once again which has definitely faded away. So yeah that's going to be it for my Dell Optiplex 7 uh, 380 showcase, it's one of the, it's, I'm not mistaken, uh, it was the last of the Optiplex with this particular chassis so yeah.